Thank you, Havron. Uh, nice to be here. Uh, I, uh, I'm not going to take too much time. I understand that we're running a bit late. But I'm going to tell you about an electronic survey uh, we uh, did for EBR to assess uh, psychological risk factors among athletes uh, in the nine biggest clubs in Reykjavik. So BIRTA contacted us to inquire about uh, us making this survey uh, where we would measure psychological risk factors uh, in the nine biggest sport clubs in Reykjavik. The survey was submitted in May uh, through Sport Doubler, which is an app uh, used to contact uh, athletes and the parents. And it was a, a two-fold survey, one for 10 to 18 years old, adjusted to their age, and another one uh, similar for adults over 18 years old. There was a total of uh, almost uh, 800 individuals answered the survey uh, for the younger uh, age group. Uh, the, and the completion rate was 49%. So 554 for the younger group and the rest was in the older group. There was less uh, participation for the older group, uh, but a, a bit higher completion rate. Now, the questions uh, were divided into four subgroups. We were looking at communication, interaction, and uh, behavior amongst uh, athletes. Uh, we were looking at well-being uh, and stress, anxiety, and how well the athletes are doing and feeling, uh, both during training and competition and traveling. Uh, we were looking at coaching uh, and the organization of, of coaching and training and competition, and then questions regarding bullying and harassment. So bullying, sexual harassment, gender-based harassment, although we only asked that for the older age group, and then violence. Now, to uh, the main results, uh, in a positive way, the majority of participants experience good communication and behavior. So uh, over 70% have a positive experience uh, when it comes to interacting and, and uh, assessing the behavior within the sport club. Uh, also, uh, the majority experienced overall, uh, overall well-being and little stress, uh, which is uh, quite positive, I think. Uh, there were some gender differences regarding stress, where more girls experienced higher levels of stress, both before and during competition. Uh, where you can see 29% uh, of the girls answering the survey uh, reported more stress before competition uh, versus 17% of the boys and 24% during competition versus 9% of the boys. Now overall participants experience coaching, training and the organization of, of coaching and, and training methods to be good, again, good results. Uh, uh, most of the uh, children answering experience safety, respect, trust, and fair chance within the sports club, and being part of the team and experiencing reasonable fair demands, both from the court coaches and also parents and themselves. Uh, there were some gender differences uh, where boys experience more unfair opportunities, not getting fair opportunities, 21% uh, of the boys reported that versus 11% of the girls. And uh, more boys reported unhealthy competition than girls. So 17% of the boys reported unhealthy competition versus 7% of the girls. Uh, there was also, I didn't put it in there, but there's also, there were a relatively more boys uh, reporting a longer time to uh, recuperate after training, uh, and uh, very few girls reported that. So, so uh, that might indicate some some uh, more strenuous exercises or, or during training. Now, when we look at uh, bullying and harassment, 
uh, there were 32 individuals that reported having experienced bullying within uh, the sports club and that entails both during training before and after transit to and from and around the area uh, and 54 others uh, reported having witnessed or heard of bullying there were four individuals that reported having witnessed or heard of sexual harassment but no one uh, reported having experienced sexual harassment. Uh, 18 individuals reported, uh, reported having experienced violence and 33 reported having witnessed or heard of violence uh, within the sports club and the surroundings. Now, uh, I just want to stress uh, what we take out of it and what we find the most interesting uh, and to, it, I think it's also interesting, following up on Brian, who was speaking before me, uh, the abusive uh, environment, how important it is to, to, to do what we can to stop and, and uh, report and address it, that uh, there are too many individuals from this survey that reported uh, having been bullied or treated in a violent manner uh, and or having witnessed it. Now when we, there were, there were not so many gender differences and the ones that were, I have already uh, told you about them, but when we looked at uh, the, re, the answers and categorized it uh, uh, and looked at the answers comparing those who have ex uh, experienced bullying or some sort of harassment uh, to how the other group answers, uh, there is a clear difference in response in many aspects. Uh, those who have experienced bullying, they feel less secure in the social setting of the sport club or team, and they have a generally more negative experience of interactions within the group and with coaches. Uh, for instance, uh, those who have exp uh, experienced bullying or some sort of harassment, uh, only 59% of them experience good communication and interaction with her coach, whereas there is 90% of the other group uh, that experience good communication. As well as good communication and interaction with team members, those who have experienced some sort of abusive behavior, uh, only 38% of them report good communication and interaction within the team or with team members. Uh, whereas uh, the other group, 87% uh, of them. So there's a huge difference between those two groups. Uh, as well, uh, those who have experienced bullying have fewer positive experiences, both during training and in relation to the sport in general. Uh, fair chance uh, uh, how the experience uh, being part of the group, etc. So there's a, a 47 to 63% of those who have experienced some sort of abusive behavior versus 80 to 94% report more positive experiences overall. And those who have experienced abusive behavior of, of some sort, they feel less psychological security and fewer opportunities or fair chance in terms of training and competition. Uh, 50% of them versus 12%. Uh, so to summarize, uh, these results indicate that it is highly important to take special care of those individuals who are or have experienced negative behavior or interactions. And I mean, it's, it's difficult to, to grasp, you know, wh how does this start? Where is it coming from? Is there something special about this group? that makes them more vulnerable uh, for abusive behavior? Or, or is it something happening in school or at home, et cetera? But I think it, it really doesn't matter. What matters is there is a group of children within the sport clubs that isn't feeling too well. They don't experience too uh, being safe psychologically within the environment. They don't feel like they're being noticed or seen or heard or getting fair chance. And I think that is really important to address, that there is a large group that, that needs help. So, I think I've managed to win some time for you. <laughs> Big, best, best, best. I'm not going to stay, so if there are any questions or... One question? One question.
If there is any. Otherwise, we just keep yeah. on moving. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you.